Hi there, Drew Brintz here, Preamp 1003 and Broker Plus. And today I want to talk to you about how to create custom disclosures that have uh, dynamic data fields that map over from the application. Uh, you can do this two different ways. You can do it on the, uh, at the corporate admin level, so you create custom disclosures that are available to all of your uh, loan officers and processors within your organization. And you can also do it at the LO or processor level within a loan file. So I'm going to show you both ways. So on the corporate level, you're just going to go over here to the very top and go to your LOS settings. Go to uh, custom disclosures right here. You're going to create or click new disclosure. Go ahead and name it. Okay. And choose your file. Okay, so um, and some of these questions right here, does this uh, file need a copy for each borrower? So, you know, if you have one form that needs to be signed um, individually for each borrower, then you could click that as yes. As an example, you know, the URLA is there's, there's a copy for each borrower. Uh, most of the time, you probably won't use that. Uh, and then you could uh, click whether this, whether you want this to have e-signature signed plus compatible. So go ahead and click that. Okay, now uh, it's right here. So the next thing you're going to do in order to um, create those custom data fields is you click the little blue um, icon to the right. And this is your PDF. So right here, uh, you just go ahead and, and right click and you can inject any of these data points. So let's say maybe uh, full name. Let's go ahead and go with um, full property address. And you can shorten the fields here as well. Um, let's see also, let's see loan information. Let's go with uh, praise value maybe. And, um, and then also, but just look at all these different data fields we have. So loan information, dates, parties of the transaction, property information, borrower, different borrower information, and, and so forth. Let's add one more. Let's go ahead and go with the, um, the base loan amount right there. Okay. And now, let's go sign plus. So let's go ahead and inject the signature there for the borrower. Now, notice this. Um, if you wanted to put things side by side, uh, let's see, borrower two, full name. Notice this. Uh, notice how if I'm not lined up exactly, it kind of snaps to line it up. So that's a, we call that a snap feature. It's very, very nice. Uh, but we'll go ahead and, and delete that. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and save this and go back to disclosures. Okay. Now let's go to a loan file. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is let's let's create a custom disclosure within, and I'm going to show both of these disclosures here in a moment when we're ready to send them to quote the borrower. But but how do you send sort of like a spontaneous custom disclosure that's not set by the corporate admin? So right here, go to forms and disclosures, create custom disclosures. Now now where uh, where I see this being utilized a lot is in creating like uh, LOXs or LOEs, depending on how you want to say it, letters of explanation. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, click new disclosure, same thing. So we're going to just call this an LOX, LOE. Okay, so to avoid any debates on that, all right, and select your PDF. Okay. Um, and so, you know, the PDF would be the, the letter written. You know, who, uh, what borrower do you, is this associ associated with? So we're going to say it's Luke's sign plus compatible. Yes. Okay. Now you have it created. You go to your little blue custom data field. This is where you can edit those custom data fields if you want to. If you want to inject something, you may, maybe you, um, you just, um, uh, well, you, you need to do this to inject the signatures anyway. So let's just go ahead and go full name. Okay. So maybe the letter is all here, full name there. And uh, let's go ahead and go with, um, oh, heck, let's put in their uh, cell phone. Okay. And let's go ahead and get them to sign it right there. Okay. All right. Save. Back to disclosures. Okay. So right there. Okay. Now, how do you send this? So we created these two disclosures. So how do we send them? We go to send disclosures. Okay. And uh, we're going to create a new envelope. Just ignore this. This is from a previous demo, but let's, uh, let's create an envelope. <laughs> so we're going to call this um, Drew's test. Okay. And we're going to enable electronic signatures. We're going to come down here and we're going to look for custom disclosures. These, these are the corporate ones. Okay. Versus custom loan disclosures. This will be loan specific. So we're going to do Drew's test for one, and we're going to do LOX, LOE, and create envelope. Okay, and it's processing. So depending on how many uh, uh, disclosures you're creating in the envelope, this could take a couple minutes. We only have a couple here, so you know, um, and just you know, you can refresh and, and check on it. But right there, it processed it pretty quick. Now, um, how do we deliver it? So, um, uh, and, and right here, the sign plus indicators, uh, yellow means we're waiting on signatures. Okay, blue means they've been completed. Okay, and you can click on these and actually see the audit logs. Okay, but we'll go into this when uh, when I do a video on the e-signature capabilities. Okay, so. But how do we deliver these? Go ahead and just click your little edit button there, show in borrower's toolbox, and email email the borrowers. We're going to update. Okay. Now, what I do want to show you is the data fields. So if I click on this, okay, let's go ahead and look at Drew's test. Notice how it mapped over all those data fields. Okay. So again, I didn't you know care about lining them up perfectly. Okay. Same thing for the uh, for the LOX. Okay. So right there, and obviously he hasn't signed it yet. So that's how you uh, create the custom disclosures, and um, we uh, we're going to do another video on the e sign capabilities. But uh, before we go, let's just see how this looks in the borrower's toolbox. Go to communications. Okay, let's open up the toolbox here, and you can see how these were delivered right here. Here's the envelope, need to sign, and this is going to walk them through, you know, signing. It's not going to let me do it because it recognizes I'm not the borrower. So, but anyway, but that's how they would go through the signing process of those documents that you sent. All right. Well, as always, uh, we appreciate your business. Thank you for using Broker Plus and Preapt 1003.